start this video. There are definitely times when I could be a full-time musician, but with freelancing, it's not really steady. And uh, with teaching, it's not always steady either because currently, the reason why I'm in this car in downtown Boston right now is because I'm working one of my many jobs, which is working for a courier company. Whether that's being a bike messenger or a car messenger or working in the office, I've been with the same company for a couple of years now. And um, I really enjoy it because it's working with a bunch of people who I consider my friends. This video is on pause because we have an emergency. It's around five o'clock on a Tuesday right now. Freelancing isn't the most uh, consistent way to earn an income. I've been getting scheduled pr fairly regularly, but after uh, January, things kind of died down and I didn't have anything planned for February, but I had two gigs and a bunch of rehearsals in February, which is currently this month. So things can change at the drop of a hat. I can't always rely on things changing at the drop of a hat to survive and pay my student loans and all of that fun stuff. So this is what I do to pay the bills. And there's no shame in working a job where you can pay your own bills. I've worked at restaurants, but the money makers are nights and weekends. Gigs usually take place on nights and weekends. So I'd actually have to turn down a lot of gigs because I couldn't always find somebody to cover my shift last minute. So that wasn't ideal. And then I got a job in a bank where I worked nine to six, which still wasn't ideal because I still felt like there was a week where I had to end an hour early and like they didn't really like it because I sort of sprung it on them. I got called to spend a week at a uh, music camp. Luckily I was at my current job then and I got started on this job because uh, I was working at a bank and I met all these bike messengers and I was like cool I want to be a bike messenger so I bought a bike and then within six months I had quit my job at the bank and I was working as a bike messenger on the streets of Boston and if I have footage from that time here it is. So that's being a bike messenger. Um, in rain or shine or cold or heat of summer, it's fun. I had shorter hair back then and looked really cool, but anyways. I'm a delivery girl. Usually when people order a rug delivery, they're expecting a delivery. They're not expecting me. Anyways, I'm on standby, which means there's currently no work, but there might be, so I'm just hanging out and um, thought I would make this video. So to give you guys a little bit of an update, last night after I did my little car update, I ended up getting 
a rush job in the back bay and then I ended up getting a rush job going down to like halfway to the Cape. Between deliveries and like biking and driving around the Boston area is uh, it's a good way to know your way around and it's also a good way to see a lot of things. Yesterday driving down to the Cape, usually it's kind of a nice drive, but I was on the highway in rush hour, in the dark, in the rain. So there wasn't very much to see. My cat's looking at me. Hey cat. My first job today is scheduled for 11, which is nice. I get to have a little bit of time in the morning to do a workout or practice or do whatever I need to do in the morning. In this case, I worked out and I'm gonna make some coffee. Oatmeal is never aesthetic. My copycat gingerbread latte that I have every morning. It's a copycat gingerbread latte because I've had like the Dunkin' Donuts gingerbread latte and mine is better. So I just finished my first delivery of the day. It was a couple of rugs again. Really heavy, glad I did leg day earlier. The angels of parallel parking were with me today because I got a spot right in front, which was great because those carpets were heavy. I'm going south now to deliver some packet of documents to some place that needs them. And now we are going back to Boston, but we're gonna take a different route because I gotta drop off a box that I've already picked up from top secret location, going to another top secret location. Let's keep going, it's uh, I don't know, like lunchtime. Can I get the number one with a Dr. Pepper? Thank you. Oh yeah. That's going right to my thighs. Glad I did leg day earlier. to try to beat a court deadline. Back to Boston. Nobody can drive. Oh, that was kind of like a day in my life when I'm not doing music and working my other job. There were a couple more interesting things that happened, but also keep in mind that I'm like driving and I should be paying attention to that. Hope you liked it. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, turn on your notifications, subscribe if you're new, and until the next time, get money, get paid. Bye.